just a further apology. If I squeal, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I have been waiting so many months and I can't believe it's finally here. I'm like bursting at the seams like right now. I've had this since I got home today and I'm just like, oh, I just want to open, I just want to open, I just want to open it. And I'm like, but I really want to unbox it on camera. So I had to wait. But I'm so excited like now that I finally get a chance to open this. I have literally been like waiting for this for like months upon months upon months. And there's all of these comments all over Twitter that basically have told me that I'm going to love this because everybody is saying that this is the best book box they have ever gotten. And I am so here for it. And I'm squealing and I can't wait oh <sighs> okay you know what this really hard thing about waiting so many months for something is it's a fact it's gonna be over before I know it it's just like Christmas you spend three or four months preparing for Christmas and sometimes longer than that depending on like when you start buying stuff and it's over so quickly and I kind of feel like that's why I'm still talking like right now because sometimes half the joy of getting stuff like this is the anticipation of getting there and now I'm here all right I, I'm prolonging the in, the inevitable so we'll just go ahead and open this and I want to comment like this box is so huge like this takes up almost my entire camera view I mean this thing is absolutely enormous oh and a side note I splurged quite a bit because there's two more Dark Dawn boxes coming from two other book companies and I'm trash for Dark Dawn leave me alone let's go ahead and open this all right, I went ahead and I cut it. You know, before I do this, I'm pausing one more time. I remembered before I got through the box and I haven't even had a bad day. Raise the roof, I'm a dork. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Man, I am so famous for dropping that card. So this is what it looks like. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure like there's all this wonderful spoilers in here. So I'm not gonna have to guess what this stuff is for. So I'm not gonna look at this. All right. Deep breaths. Okay. First off, we have a blanket. Ooh. Okay. So they actually. It was almost like they took out all the air in this just to get it to fit into the box. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm really glad I got the scissors for this because I would not have wanted to like lean over right in the middle of me opening this. Oh, it's so soft. It's so soft. Love it. What do we got? All right. I'm standing up for this. Oh, Mr. Kindly. All right, I'm going to have to do a separate scene like where I'm explaining this to you. So here is the wolf. Let me try to get this. We have the wolf here. And then as we go down, we have all the suns. Right down here in diagonal. We have the end of the leg, legs of the wolf. And then over here, we have our Mr. Kindly. And he is so cute. Oh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it's so soft. This is something I'm going to be able to cuddle with for years to come. Okay, there's more stuff in the box. You know what? <laughs> Screw it. All right, all right, I'm ready for the next thing. Shrouded in blanket, I am ready. So the next thing that we have, oh, it's a little Mia figurine. Now I saw this, they, they, they did actually release this in the T 
teasers as a way to get people motivated to buy this box. So we have a little Mia here. And on brand, it looks like she just murdered somebody. These kind of remind me like a little bit of the Funko Pops, just a little bit, but uh, she's got her like little knives and she's like, I'm gonna go kill somebody because that's what I do and I'm good at it. Rah! All right, I am just like spazzing out right now. I might cut this later. If I didn't cut it, you'll see it. And then I'm not really sure where we're gonna go from here. All right, let's go on to the next thing. So of course we got the paper to kind of pad everything. And I dropped a coin. Ed, the coin of course, is Mia. Oh, this is so cute. And they even put Mr. Kindly in the background of this. Come on, let's take a look. Half the battle me filming these book boxes. Okay, there we go. Half the battle me filming these book boxes unboxings is trying to get everything focused. But this is Mia. We see Mr. Kindly like in the background. <sighs> oh man. Hmm. Readjusting my blanket. I'm looking so regal right now. Oh! I just want to comment on this box like really quick. This is definitely a mug, but it says goodnight kiss on it. Yes. Oh my god. All right. So let's see what the mug looks like. Ooh. Oh! Oh my god. Just a... Uh, Further apology, if I squeal, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so we have Mia doing some battle over here. And then her hair just kind of comes off here. And then we have the suns, right? The three suns, one, two, three, which is pretty much a part of this culture. I mean, that's like why they, you know, that's for all of you who have not seen Red Never Night, that's pretty much like why they call this Never Night was because there's three suns and it's really Never Night until it's dark dawn and it happens really, really, really rarely. And as we go on here, there's Mr. Kindly and, it, and he's coming off of her hair. I am living for this box right now. This we're gonna be putting back in there. In a few months, because I, uh, I ordered a few other bo book boxes, I'm gonna be going through it. I'm going to be redesigning um, my bookshelves and everything behind me. I want to incorporate like a lot of the stuff that I'm getting as far as like collector's books and everything else. And um, I'm going to be going through like my books like a little bit like over here. A lot of this is my nonfiction right over here and uh, kind of like want to redo this so it reflects what I've read on my channel. So this is probably all going to be redone and when I redo it I'm going to be filming it. So off topic a little bit but we're on to the next thing. Ooh! I don't know if I'll be able to use this though. I don't know, I might be able to use this. I'm really sensitive, my skin's really sensitive to stuff. We have a red Mr. Kindly bath bomb. The Not Cat Blood Orange Bath Bomb. Hmm, I wonder what this smells like. I can't really smell much through this, so they definitely did a good job on the packaging, but this is so cute. Ooh, this enamel pin set. So, we have one called Darken. And then this one says Lady of the Blessed Murder. Wow, so regal. Losing the blanket a little bit. I'm gonna be living in this blanket. Ooh, this is the bookmark set. All right, so here are the bookmarks. So we got Shadow Wolf and Mr. Kindly. And, and these are actually two-sided, which is awesome. Okay. Then we have lovely Mia. And then we're back to the beginning. These are so pretty though. So pretty. I love them. And I love the con I love the color concepts of them too. It's really Ooh. They gave me a necklace. Let me open this. And it says Corvier. Oh, it's the Corvier House Crest. Oh, look at that. It's her, it's her house crest and it says Corvier like right down there at the bottom. It's so awesome. So then we also have, so there's a, there's a few deleted chapters. This is called Three. And this is a physical copy of the deleted chapters, which I'm really, really excited about because I heard about this. They actually did give it as a pre-order bonus as well, which I have a digital copy. But 
I love this. All right, so it looks like we also have some artwork in here as well. Oh, it's a little bent. Look at this. This is Trick and Mia. God, this is like, and she's covered in blood and like it looks like they're about to kiss. But oh my God, like oh, this is just such a great print. This is gorgeous. I'm sorry if you're cringing like right now between like all of my fangirl stuff, but. Oh, cool. This is a symbol for the three suns here. And then on the other side, we have a wooden map of Mia's world. A little crow here. This is like the map that we get in all of the books to kind of help us figure out where everything is. And it's, this is like wood. It's not even paper, it's wood. This is, mm. Okay, and then we have another like little booklet. Pierre Ford's in this. This is the Nevernight short form series extras. And, and it has like a bunch of pictures. For all of you guys that don't know, uh, Pierre Ford is another booktuber and she is actually making a mini series out of this. She got funding to make a mini series out of this. And I'm so excited. And so like what they included in this was this like little booklet with that print. But on the other side, they have her. And this contains like a bunch of like the extras. Like a bunch of pictures from like when they were filming on set which is really freaking cool they also include like a script excerpt and everything <sighs> slow down the little heart rate there for a second all right so it looks like we got a few more things This art print is sick and it's shiny behind it. I'm gonna figure out like how and where I'm gonna put this cause oh my God. Like I love black and white prints because like they're so monotone. And it also like reminds me of like old photography kind of like all the black and white, but I'm really loving this. Oh man. Now it's time for the book. There's a book sleeve. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I am a sucker for a book sleeve. <laughs> and the book is inside the book sleeve, of course, but I'm really curious. Oh my God. However it ends, at least you had a story to tell. This is a two-sided. However it ends, at least you had a story to tell. And then on the other side, Oh my god, and this is like a pleather material kind of, and it's padded, it's nice and thick. It's perfect for keeping my book in. Oh, look at this, oh my god. It's like literally the... I'm so sad though because we're getting like ready to open up the book and this is the last thing in the box. I'm not saying that there wasn't a ton of really awesome things in this box, I'm not saying like that there was not enough stuff in this box, but when it comes down to it, is it ever enough? I mean, really? Why couldn't this be like Hermione's suitcase from the Deathly Shadows, like where it's like, you know, you just kind of stick your hand all the way in it. Once again, I'm prolonging the inevitable, so. Look at that. And it's painted yellow. This is so pretty. It's signed by the author. These end papers, okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna do some strip teasing with the book. Gotta be careful with the dust jacket. What am I doing? Oh man. So we of course have the author's note and uh, this is beautiful, even bare. Look at what's underneath this. Yes, okay. We have this, and it goes all the way, and it actually wraps around to the back. And then we have the end papers with the signature from J. Kristoff. The opening page, which has more of this, just this gorgeous artwork on it. Got the ship. All those beautiful pages. And then um, we, and then like on the back of this, we don't have the cat. We just have all of the stars. 
that's going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what the cover, the dust jacket looks like up, up close because the dust jacket is gorgeous too. And there's a lot of detail like in this dust jacket. I just love all the like, detail. Like there's pick like it's it's Mr. Kindly, but like then you have all of the little things. You have the snake, you have a skull. Then it goes like all you have the spine. Then and then we have the ship on back, and then of course. All right, so this book is going directly back into my book sleeve because that's where she belongs. Welcome home, baby. So we're putting her back in here for now, but not forever. You know, if I continue to record, I'm, you guys are going to watch me hug this book for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, hit the little like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon if you want to receive emails every single time I post. And as always, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Amazon, and Goodreads. And once again, there is a survey for satisfaction down at the bottom. You guys can tell me I squeal too much. Doesn't mean it's going to stop me, but you guys can say it. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and we'll see you guys again very soon.